Welcome to the quarterfinals here for the Swatch Pros. We have a classic on paper. Longtime rivals Silvana Lima and Stephanie Gilmore find themselves in another key heat here at Lower Trestles to decide a semifinal berth as this week is absolutely flying by with really fun looking waves already getting things started. Joe Chappelle and Martin Potter in the booth for the call of Silvana Lima. Starting off with a really cool layback car. Yeah, both surfers uh, just getting a quick uh, quick in and out, and then Silvana Lima finds herself on a nice little wave, and we saw that little piece uh, just leading up to this heat. The boys talking about how Silvana... In a great place on the Jeep leaderboard, ranked number four in the world, with Silvana up now, tail drift to layback. Won't recover their pots. Waves under her belt, build up that confidence if she's going to have to have a shot at Steph Gilmore. But you can tell she means business and she's not going to hold back one little bit. That first one, we'll never forget at Bells Beach. Gilmore now setting up that big forehand carve. She'll set up a snap off the top on the second move. Frames it up with that beautiful style with that fading cutback. Now snaps down the line. Multiple moves already for the six time world champ. Wants to finish on her feet. That one's going to take her down, and Silvana will set up her roundhouse on the next wave. Blitzes the lip on the next opportunity, and a nice, healthy looking forehand hook. Jams it again. She's sticking to the face of the wave, and she'll float this thing shut. Both young ladies are going to town. Let's have a look at Silvana's wave first. She's already got a 5 5 in her scoreline. One of the shorter girls on tour, but I tell you what, she packs a punch. She's super powerful. Watch this turn right here, Joe. Bang through the lip. And again, just using that real sort of wider stance, keeping the power, keeping the flow, joining the dots and finishing strong for Silvana Lima. On the other side of the coin, let's have a look at Steph Gilmore. Styles for miles, this young lady. One of the best styles in the sport of surfing, period. Through the top, here we go. Once she starts building her momentum, she's going to look dangerous. Up through the lip again, this wave just keeps offering. And Steph Gilmore just keeps connecting with this lip. Again, another turn from Steph. She races through the inside and unfortunately goes down at the end of that, but all the damage was done. Surfer from Brazil on the women's side, battling in this world title race as we see Silvana. Throw tail, she'll get stuck and she's down. A little opportunity for Lima to showcase what she has at lower trestles. Throw tail reverse. She'll get home. We'll see how Lakey carries that into the next quarter against Carissa Moore. This one continuing with Silvana Lima looking for waves under Steph's priority. Carve ramping up for the tail high reverse. She's on the roof and she will end up pulling that one off once again as well. I like the fact she stayed busy. After that uh, massive exchange from both Steph and Silvana, first opening turn, <laughs> just hooking into it and then sees that little section. Nice projection, nice height, and spins it around nice and clean. Well, that's going to better her 5.50. Let's have a look at the technique as she hits the lip. She's got that very familiar footwork as it slides up the board, lands, takes all the weight off the back foot, lets those fins spin around. So there you go, Silvana Lima is going to improve on her situation. And Zero, one of the world's best up and running. Nice and easy on the takeoff. Six-time world champ, Steph Gilmore. Set up work out the back, and she will end up in a position that she didn't like. I when, do. When he sees an error happen to any of the world's best. I do, because I just, I, I know exactly what, what she's feeling. I know what she's going through. As she comes off the bottom, the rail doesn't set. Those fins pop out. She loses complete traction. Trying to take out current world number four. Lima takes the first wave. Just as Strider predicted here. Sets up the first turn. Little fin blow. Front side wrap. Nice pace. Great combo already. Another vertical turn for Lima down the line. Layback carve to switch gears. And now a clean slice in the open face. Lima, nice, easy tempo and pace, not trying to rush the issue. Gilmore already halfway through her answer here. There's the carve, laid back jam, trying to pack in the maneuvers. Quick float off the bottom again and connects off the roof two more times. 
So maxing in the maneuver count. See what Steph did at the beginning of her second wave of the set. As Strata talked about, a little cleaner. Steph Gilmore going for broke, almost losing it. Back foot comes off. Kind of missed that next section. That is going to hurt the scoring potential on this wave just a little bit. And now she starts to try and make up for it. A couple of quick turns from Steph. You can see the aggro coming into it. I like it when you see Steph Gilmore get that aggro into her surfing. It just gets sharper, it gets more radical. But Silvana Lima looks like she may be improving her situation. Beautiful sweep right there through the lip again. So some nice series of turns. There you go, mixing it up, showing the judges some variety as well. Keeping that speed through the inside section and finishing with a vertical snap. Silvana Lima equaling her best score. 50 seconds on the clock, the six-time world champ on the move. A aggressive hack off the top. Checks it real quick on the oncoming section and belts it off the coping. On fire so far, a little down carve and has a little left. Just to style her way through, Lima will take the next one. Big float. Gets a little hung up on the second turn, looking to recover. Just taps it shut, so Lima now celebrating an all-time clash with one of her favorite rivals on tour. These two sharing the lineup in multiple finals, going back to over a decade ago. And they will laugh that one off. Coming down to the buzzer, Gilmore gave that last wave everything she had to try to fight for a 9-1-9 on the final exchange.